Hello everyone, I am Harshita and today we are going to see expense process flow and after that manage expense system options. Now, first we will see step by step what is the process followed by the employee from incurring the expenses to get the reimbursement. So, there are three scenarios. One by one we will see all the three scenarios and depending upon the scenarios expense process flow changes so first scenario is when there is no approval required for the expense report submitted so what happens in this how the expense process flow will work here employee will incur the expense then the employee will enter the expense report then after entering the expense report employee will will submit expense report and after submitting expense report as there is no approval required expense report will get processed and reimbursement will be done so this was the first scenario then the next scenario is when the manager approval is required for the submitted expense report but no auditor approval is required so the, so in this situation how the expense process flow work first employee will incur expense then employee will enter expense report then after entering submit the expenses report now the manager approval is required but auditor's approval is not required so what happens if manager approval is required then it depends upon the manager whether it uh, manager will approve the expense report or not if manager will uh, will not approve the expense report then the expense report will be returned to the employee for the correction and then again employee needs to enter the expense report but if manager gives the approval and no audit approval is required then expense report will get processed and reimbursement will be done this was the second scenario now the last scenario is when manager and auditors both approval is required for the expense report submitted now in this case, how expense process will work. First, employee will incur the expense, enter the expense report, submit the expense report, and if manager approval is required, and manager approval is also received by the uh, employee for the expense report submitted, then auditor approval. Then in auditor approval, it depends upon the auditor whether uh, auditor is approving or not approving auditor is rejecting the expense report if auditor is rejecting then again expense report will return to the employee for correction and employee needs to enter expense report but if auditor approval is also received then after receiving all the approvals uh, expense report will get processed and reimbursement will be done so this was all about the expense process flow now moving towards the manage expense system option which is one of the prerequisite setup for the smooth running of the expense module on the manage expense system options page one can set application option that control various process in expense reporting across all business unit or for any specific business unit now here are some terms which one should be familiar with uh, first is payment method payment method is a method of payment such as check cash or electronic fund transfer then the next is terms and agreement expense report policies and rules that employees are typically asked to accept before submitting their expense report are what known as terms and agreement here in system option then barcode a printable barcode that uniquely identify each employee's expense report then the last term is the reimbursement currency the currency in which the employee is reimbursed is known as reimbursed currency now we will go to the instance and see how the configuration of the system option is done there. So moving to the instance now. Now after logging to the instance, go to setup and maintenance. If setup is financials. And select functional area as expenses and select the task from here, manage expense system options. Now here system options can be set up for the all business unit or if you will scroll down a little bit below, you can see that here you can give any specific business unit as well. Like I, 
I have given here US one business unit as a specific business unit for which the system option set setup will be enabled. Now there are three types of options here: user option, corporate option, and the processing options, which you can set up. We will discuss one by one each of the options. First, we will start with the user option. In user option, we can see that first option is enable payment method. Whether can user enable reimbursement payment method in their expense report? If you want user to do that, you can set enable payment method as yes. Now the next is allow reimbursement currency selection. If selected as yes, there will be choice of selecting reimbursement currency during expense entry by by default, it is set as no. If you want, you can select it as yes also. Then the next option is enable attachment against against the expenses. If you want, you can select both header and lines. If you want, you can select only header or you can set it as no as well, depending upon the requirement. Now the next is allow overriding approval. This is useful like when your manager is on holiday and you want someone else to approve your expense report. So you can just enable this option here for overriding the approval. Then the next is enable travel. If you want to enable the travel here, you can set it as yes. If you will set this as, as yes, then the travel tab will be visible in the expense work area. Then enable recurring expenses like phone bills. So by marking as recurring expenses, we no need to enter it every month. So if you will enable this here, you can mark the expenses as recurring expenses while creating your expense report. Then allow password storage in mobile application. If you are using mobile app for entering your expense report, then you can use this option. Then enable split allocation. What it helps, it helps uh, to split the allocation of the expense item and expense report across multiple project or uh, GL accounts. So if you will uh, enable this option as yes, you can do that. The next is enable Oracle map. If you will enable it as yes, your trip distance in mileage expense entry will be calculated. We will in enter the start location and the end location. It will put in the graphical map and calculate the mileage for you. So if you want to do that, you can enable this option here. So this was all the user option. Now moving towards the corporate option. So these are the corporate options available. First, enable default the report owner as attendee. If you want to enable this, you can set as yes, or you if you don't want it, you can set it as no. Then the expense enable expense location level. I have selected this all location. If you want, you can select it as country or state as per the requirement. Then display barcode. The barcode, as we have discussed in the slide, it helps us in uniquely identify the employee's expense report. So when you will print the copy, a barcode will be displayed on it. So you can enable this option. Then enable descriptive text field. Text fields are helps in um, these are the additional fields and help us to capture the additional information so if you want it you can set it as yes i have done yes then printable expense report format you can give that a printable expense report template have given that enable terms and agreement if you will uh, enable this you will get a little checkbox on the expense while creating your expense report, right? Then corporate policy and enable corporate policy URL. If you want, you can link the corporate policy and give URL there. If you will enable this option, you can do that. Then the next is enable corporate card transaction age limit, required project fields for project uses and expense report number prefix. If you want, you can set this option uh, as per your need. And, and expense report number prefix, if you will give anything here, it will take it as prefix for every expense report created. So you can give this corporate options for, from here. Now moving towards the processing options. So what are the processing options here? Enable payment notification to employee. If you want, you can uh, enable the notification to the employee, like when payment is different, notification is received to the employees here. Right, then the enable automatic travel expense report creation. If you want uh, automatic generation of the travel expense report, you can 
enable this option as yes. Now expense report audit approval. Now when the audit approval is required, I have said after manager approval, when manager approval is done, then after that auditor approval is required for the expense expenses. Then processing days allowed after termination. You can have given zero. You can set it as per your requirement. Then pay expense report through payables. I have selected this payable when the expense report is submitted and approved. Everything is done here. Then it moves to the payables work area and from there validation of this expense report and payment is done. Then in active employee grace period. If you want any employee gets inactivated, you want to add any grace period to that to submit the expense report for the processing of it. You can give here the days and pay group for negative expense report. If you want, you can add that also from here. So these are the all options available in the system options which need to be configured while uh, dealing with the expense module here. So this was all about it. After uh, giving the expense system option, just save and close your expense system option configuration will be done. So this was all about the expense uh, process flow and system options. So thank you.